everybody convinced we were brothers and it started as a joke of me and him just going, oh yeah, that's, that's my brother Adam. They were like, you guys are brothers? We'd be like, and uh, he ended up becoming like one to me. Um, I, I'll never forget, I had to drive at like four in the morning, this is long before I had a record deal, and I pro probably like 18 people watched this morning show. And it was up in Kentucky where he lived, and I was in Tennessee. And I was like, yeah, man, I, I can't do that tomorrow. I, I gotta, I would love to go fishing with you, but I, I gotta drive up to Kentucky before the sun comes up in the morning to be on this random morning show to try and promote my independent record that I made. And he was like, well, I'll go with you. I was like, why? He was like, just because. That's what you do. And uh, unfortunately, he was in a car accident in the middle of the night. Passed. Never got to say goodbye to him. And I know a lot of people have been through that. And I know it's a tough song to hear. But to me, country music is one of those things where it's all about stories. And they can be happy, sad, falling in love, falling out of it, partying, whatever. But it took me a really long time to write something that I thought lived up to the memory of this guy. So uh, if anybody is, has ever lost anybody, uh, whether it be a friend you treat like family, just a friend, family member, whatever, um, I'm going to give you all just a second if you want to put a cell phone light up for, for the rest of this song. I'm going to sing this last chorus for them and for my buddy Adam. So tonight I'm going to 